orange and broccoli venison stir fry. Hey everyone, Keith here, Dusty Roads Barbecue. Have you ever made a venison stir fry? Well today, I'm gonna show you how to make one so great that even Uncle Roger has nothing bad to say about it. In fact, Auntie Helen might even come back if you made this for her. Check it out. Can't have a venison stir fry without venison. I'm gonna start with a two pound roast here and start by taking off some of this excess silver skin and then separating the separate muscle segments so I can slice it up properly against the grain. Just gonna cut this entire thing up into small bite-sized pieces. You wanna keep these slices relatively thin because we're gonna bread them and fry them and don't want them too large. Once the whole roast is sliced up, set it aside. For the marinade, we're just gonna to mix together a little bit of ground ginger to about three tablespoons of soy sauce. Mix it together, pour it over the venison, mix that together, and then put in the fridge for about 30 minutes. While that's marinating, we're gonna to mix together six tablespoons of cornstarch, salt, pepper, and garlic powder, and then set that aside. Then grab one orange, and using a cheese grater, take off all the rind from that orange. You want just a handful of peels that looks like this. And now we're gonna make our stir fry sauce. Start by squeezing out all the juice from that orange into a bowl. And then add three quarters cup of soy sauce, two tablespoons of molasses, half cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, one teaspoon of sesame oil, about four to six cloves of minced garlic, depending on your flavor preference, some more ground ginger, a half teaspoon of red pepper flakes, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half teaspoon each of black pepper and salt, and then a couple of jalapenos or some sweet peppers. And then just set that sauce aside. And then cut up a couple of broccoli crowns and set those aside. And now we're gonna coat all of our slices of venison in the cornstarch mixture that we set aside earlier. You might wanna use a couple of different bowls for this. You just wanna make sure that all pieces of your venison are equally coated with the cornstarch. And then using a large Dutch oven, heat some oil to 375 degrees, and then we're gonna fry these strips of venison until cooked all the way through. And while that venison's frying, cook yourself up some rice and simmer your stir fry sauce on the stove for about five to seven minutes. While this is all going on, You'll also want to quickly blanch that broccoli so it's ready to add to the stir fry when the meat's done. And now comes the fun part. Using a large frying pan on your stove on a low heat, add your venison and then your stir fry sauce and mix that all together. This venison is amazingly soft and tender with a little bit of a crispy exterior and packed with flavor. Once the meat's all coated with the sauce, add in your broccoli and then continue stirring until it's all coated. You wanna make sure the meat and broccoli are thoroughly mixed together and everything is coated in that amazing sauce. And here we go, it's time to plate this delicious stir fry. To give it that extra visual pop, top with some sliced green onions, those orange peels you grated earlier, and then some sesame seeds. And there you go, an Uncle Roger approved orange and broccoli venison stir fry.